Hey guys, what's up? Um, I don't like to like pretend in like be in like different moods just to be in different moods. Like I'm just not like, you know, like right now I'm very irritated to be honest and I'm not going to be like acting a different way because I just don't do that. Like I just don't like want me to come on here and like put a show on like no, I just don't. And to be honest, like I did have some, like this video I'm going to do, I'll probably do some of it, but mostly I don't know what we're doing today. Like mostly we are just sitting here. I love to sit in my silence. You guys know that. Like that is one thing about me where I want to sit in my fucking silence and be left the fuck alone. I don't like that. I, I got this fucking spider bite like, and I got it here too. And look at my fucking hand and it's like actually pissing me off. I also don't like how I look in gray. Like I feel like gray is just does not suit me and I don't like how I look. Also my sleepy droop. Okay. I put these like lashes on, but they're like not sleepy enough. Look at my hands shaking. <laughs> okay. So last night I went to karate and I'm, my muscles are still not st like we had, um, it was sparring. I don't, I'll tell, I don't know if I'll tell you about karate. Look at this. My muscle is still fucking spazzing from yesterday. Um, you like, I got drugs, right? Like, see how they're stupid. I have never taken a drug in my life. You fucking idiot. Um, like that's what you'll do. I, I just like, sometimes I don't even want to do this with you guys. Like sometimes I don't want you to fuck off. Like the rats are so dumb. Okay. Um, it needs to like that. But I just don't really love how I look right now because that spider bite is ruining my fucking vibe, to be honest. Like, look at that. It looks like I have some kind of a fucking, like, disgusting tropical ass disease. Like, I fucking hate like that. It's, like, so gross. It looks like it looks nasty. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I should have just worn, like, a hoodie. But, like, I didn't want to wear a hoodie because I just got this shirt. Um, I really like this, like, waffle knit. It's, like, very my vibe right now to just, like, be cute and, like, comfortable. Um, and but I just don't like the way... I'm looking and I'm starting to piss myself off and I want to do that, but I can't because I have a spider bite. Um, I can't explain it. So like, I'm just annoyed. I'm very annoyed. Like I'm like, I'm like very like scratching the walls right now. I can't explain it. Okay. Um, do you guys know what I mean? Okay. Stop. Um, so anyway, I have this video I was going to do today. And, um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would know. And it's just this, it's like, I, really hate so many things. You know what I mean? I really do. Everything is just so dumb and everyone, every people, people out there don't get it. You know what I mean? And no, like I'm not going to do a list of things that I like. Like it's just dumb. It's actually a th list of things that I fucking hate. And I know that you fucking dumbass rats like, and when I'm talking about the rats, you know who we're talking about. So like, we don't have to get into people being offended because if you get all offended, then just buy, just get the fuck out of here. Because I'm not in the mood for you right now. I'm actually not in the mood for myself. I want to sit here like in peace. I just like right now, to be honest, I don't know what it is. I want, you know what it is? It's my eyelashes. <laughs> like I'm just annoyed with myself. I don't like my eyelashes. Um, I want to sit here in my pee and look at my hand. I want to sit here in my, my misery right now. I just really want to. Like, I wish we could just do that. And like, just be like, just do that. Cause that's what I feel like doing. But at the same time, I can't just sit here. Um, anyway, I want to sit here and like complain about every little thing I do. Like my nose itches. I have like this fucking, I don't know what this is. It's like, I don't know if it's an age spot or something, but look at that. I need to get that removed. I don't know what to do. Um, I hate my eyelashes right now. This is making me so mad. Like unbelievably mad um I'm getting phone calls and I hate that too when I'm like filming I get phone calls um and then my hair was like cute yesterday um because this is just air dry this is biker hair okay I'm not getting in it, in it with you about um I'm just not like a lot of you out there. That's the thing. I feel like I'm very just like me. And I don't like feel like doing anything right now as far as a video. I just want to sit here and like fucking complain about everything because that's what I want to do. But like, is that a video? I don't know. And I don't fucking care. Like if you don't want to be here, but get the fuck out. Do you know what I mean? Like fuck off. Um, okay. So I don't know. I feel like I should change my shirt. I feel like this is not like there's something wrong with me where I can't focus because I don't like how I look. Okay, whatever, stop. Um, the video was gonna be this. The, also, there's a piece of hair. Like, why? In my middle of my fucking face. Okay. 
there is this um i was gonna do this video about things that i like that i know you guys that i know uh, things that i hate that i know you guys like um that's what the video was gonna be about um and to be honest i will do it but at the same time like i want to just also i want to do something else too that huge fucking bug bite which is actually really irritating me it's disgusting like I don't know if this is a bug bite too. It might be, dude. I don't fucking know. Like, I got, like, fucking eaten alive. Okay. So, anyway, um, here we go. So, um, this is the thing. Like, I don't want to do, like, things I love. You know what I mean? Like, that. shut up. Like, you don't, like, first of all, I don't really like to, like, to divulge on those things because the rats ruin it. You know what I mean? So, it's like, if I want to share things I love, it's kind of, like, it takes me a while to, like, want to because, like, there's so many people out there that suck. And it's like, no, you don't get to know. Do you know what I mean? I can stop. Anyway, so today I'm going to be telling you guys things that I hate and you, that I know you like. And when I say you, you know who I'm talking about. So shut the fuck up. Don't get offended. Like offended idiots are just irritating me. Like, go away. Okay. Um, and then, by the way, you guys are loving the Ask Alex thing. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I just don't want to do it too much because I don't want it to be become like something that is just like expected or to become like the same old thing. But, um, I get like, you guys are like emailing me constantly, like your problems. Like, I mean, I'm not a fucking therapist, I'm not your therapist. Like it, you're rude to like, even be like, oh, well, answer my question. Like, bitch, I will tell you when you can ask me the question and like, you'll DM me. Don't fucking email your, me your fucking personal problems and think I'm going to like respond to your personal problems. Like, excuse me. It's just, do you do see what I mean? Like, does it look like I'm like this person who can sit around and just answer everyone's questions about their personal life? Like, stop. It's done. Like, just shut up. Like, do you see what I mean? Okay, like, do you not have a brain to, like, think, like, oh, I'm not going to, like, email this person, like, just, who's oh, just going to, like, take the time out of her day to, like, talk to me about her pers my personal ass problems. Like, dude, do you know what I mean? I'm going to stop. <sighs> like, are people dumb? Okay, I'm just dumb. Like, it's just dumb. It's so dumb. Like, it's just dumb. Like, I would never think, I would never think, like, yeah, I'm doing Ask Alex. Doesn't mean that every moment is Ask Alex. Like, why do you, like, what is wrong with people? Do you not see what I mean? Okay, stop. I can't. Like, I'm, I'm you're, I'm... all right. I had to change because I really did not like the spider bite showing. It, like, infuriates me. The next thing is going to be these lashes, but I don't want to take them off. And then my biker hair is not right today. It's just, like, it didn't, didn't, it, it was, there's too many curls, like, natural curls underneath. So it's just, like, it's, like, too wavy or something. Um, I just like, like black more than anything, but whatever. Okay. Before I get started, I don't even know what we're doing today. I just, I, okay. I have like a list of things that I was going to talk to you guys about, but I feel like it's going to going to be hard to get through because I'm just focused on wanting to fucking zone the fuck out right now. I don't know why. Okay. Um, and this is from my cat having bit me Remember when he was like blind. Oh yeah. See, do you see what I mean? There's just so many things going on right now that I just like, would rather divulge with you guys and like because i feel like i feel like we're in this all, all thing together it's weird um but at the same time we're like really not but we are <laughs> i can't explain it okay um okay so before i get started i wanted to remind you guys that all of my um, new designs are still five to ten dollars off and it's free us shipping on the entire site um it's gonna end this week so don't forget just reminding you um, I, this is my new Paris, Texas love lock. Okay. And if you know, you know, um, and, um, yes. So we'll talk about that later too, probably, but I love this. It's so pretty. This is my, um, Bijou floating cross. It's on 14 K Goldfield chain. It has like this big bale and it just like floats. It's really nice. This is a 15 inch, 15 inch on this. I feel like is the best. And then I have my fantasy pearl necklace. It's real pearls, um, with crystals. And then my um, floor, my crystal floor. This one's the all white crystals and it's so pretty. It's like around the entire um, neck. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so that's my stock. Just like pretty and delicate and unique. I love it. I could just like sit and talk about it and stare. Um, okay, yeah, I'm just on one today. Whatever, fuck off. Okay, so here we go. Um, all right, let me just go. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Like, I don't know how this video, this video, video might not even end up being that. Okay. That was what I wanted to do. But now I just feel like I'm, I don't like my hair. Like, I just don't. Do you guys like, are you like that too? Where you just like, I just don't feel on. Like there's something about me where I just like, like, I don't, who am I today? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, why? Like, what is wrong with you? Stop. I don't like the way I look. Like, ew. Okay. I just don't feel like there's something missing. Like there's something wrong with me, like how I look right now, how I feel about myself, stop. 
Okay, I hate designer bags. You know that so much. Like, you guys know. I swear to God, it's so sad. Like, I have every single one of my designer bags is done. Like, it's so bad. I, I don't even know what to do. Like, it's just so depressing um, how, uh, how done these designer bags are. Um, they're all ugly. Like, everything is ugly. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't even... Sometimes, to be honest, I don't even carry a bag anymore because it ruins the look. Like... Um, to be honest, that's the truth. Like even when I like want to go take a photo, sometimes I'm like the bag is ruining the photo. Like it just looks so bad. Like nothing is cute anymore. I don't know what we're going to do as far as bags. Like I don't know what the next thing is because everything is disgusting. I got this bag on eBay. It's like a little vintage bag. It was under $200. And I like that because it's just like a nothing. And I don't like I have spent, you guys know, hundreds probably, who knows, of thousands of dollars on bags. You guys know that, right? Like obviously people do. I don't even know. I don't want to say it. And uh, it's like, it's, ins it's insane, insane how much of a huge waste that was. I need to sell them at the same time. It's like, I have worked so hard for all of my shit that like, I don't want to just fucking sell them. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do. Like, I just don't know what, what are you guys, what are we going to do? Like, I don't know what we're actually going to do with our bags, but like, what the fuck are we going to do? Um, and then people are like, oh, save them, save them for your children. They'll love them. Oh, they're going to love some raggedy old bag. Like, no, do you see what I mean? Like, okay. If like, I think that'd be cute. If like my mom had given me one of her designer bags, I would have worn it for a week and been over it. Do you know what I mean? Like, just, okay. Vintage designer bags are gross. Like this one is too, but to be honest, this one looks is so understated that it's kind of cute. Do you, okay, you'll see what I mean. So it's this just little nothing. It's like, it's a crump. It's nothing. There's no like, um, what's it called to it? There's no shape to it. It's just like a little sack and it looks new, but it's not. And it's simple. And what I like about it is I can carry it here and you can't really see it. Okay. I don't. This is the thing. I'm not ready. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not like you guys who are like, so, you know, I, Alex, you don't have to carry a designer bag. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not quite ready to like not carry designer because I'm just not like I do understand. I appreciate the fact that like there is an echelon. Okay. And I don't need you guys to like tell me anything. I don't need, it's like, if you can afford a nice car, you'll drive a nice car. Okay. Like, you don't have to have a nice car. You know what I mean? A, a car is a car. A car works. But, like, there are echelons, right? Like, if you're carrying... No offense. Like, this thing, I don't want to, like, piss you guys off. I don't care. It's not that... I don't I don't need... The thing, I don't, don't want to piss you off. I don't want you to come for me when I'm not ready to defend myself. Like, I don't like to read stupid comments and then, like, and, you know, and not being able to, like, clap back at you. Okay. Don't piss me off. There is a thing in life where, like, people... They carry, they have like a, a nice bag, okay? It's true. Like typically for, it's like a Chanel classic. Like if you wear a Chanel classic, it kind of puts you in that echelon, okay? That's the truth. And I've worked my fucking asshole off, okay? So I deserve that like feeling. Um, You know what I mean? I'm not quite ready to give up the designer bag thing in full because I'm not like guys, a lot of guys are like, why don't you just get like a plain bag? Or why don't you just get like a nice leather bag? Because bitch, it doesn't put me in that fucking echelon. That's the damn truth, okay? And you know, anyone out there who's fucking kidding themselves knows what I fucking mean. Shut up, okay? I don't want to fucking fight with you. I'm trying to have, I'm already having a very bad day. I don't like how I look. I don't like the top. I don't like the fucking bug bites. I couldn't wear the shirt. I don't like gray on me, okay? So I'm already off right now. I'm already feeling off. Also, it's very yellow in here. I don't know why. But then like sometimes I'm moving and it's getting gray. Also, there's people texting me when I'm filming, which I hate. Why do you text me? Stop texting me right now, bitch. Like it's so annoying. I don't know what to do. Like, do I turn my phone off? Do, like I, I hate being on group texts. I don't want to talk to anyone. Didn't I tell you guys in the beginning of this fucking video, I wanted to just sit alone right now with you in like my silence. Yet there is people texting me and my arm is shaking. Okay. Stop. Okay. So this does not put me in an echelon because, but it kind of does because it's kind of like understated rich girl. Do you see what I mean? It's small and stupid. Okay. Like that's what it is. Like it's just a cute bag and kind of just looks like, oh, do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of just still gets you there without being overly designer because I hate designer. This is almost not a bag. This almost looks like something that is like weird. Like, like what is that? Do you know what I mean? So I really love this. It's just, and it's cute. I like this like 
seat belt almost looking strap and it's like cute. I just really, really like it. Um, it actually is a bag, I think. I don't know what this is, okay? But I really, really love it. Um, okay, I also got these like fake sunglasses from Urban. I don't know why. I really don't like fake sunglasses. Like, it's like bags. I don't like to have fake, like bad bags or bad, bad shoes or bad sunglasses. I just don't. I want to have like very, um, I want to have like, like, what's it called? Name brand shit. Stupid. Like, these are not cute. These are obviously cheap. These make me look poor, okay? There is a, something about wearing fake sunglasses. These make me look poor. The color of them's off. I hate them. I fucking hate them. I should never order them. Okay, this is what happens when I go on a stupid site. I'm like bored at night. I'm like, oh, those are cute. No, they're not. See, I've been wearing these all the time. I love these. These are, they make me look fat. I get it because like I have a wide face here. But they're understated and they are very, they're very understated rich girl. Do you see what I mean? And then I have this and it's not, it's not, it's not obscene. Okay. And it's not dorky because like at this point, Chanel, like any kind of Chanel, any kind of bag that's a designer is dorky. It's very, we already talked about this public school administrator. That's what it is. Any kind of like bags like a, like an LV bag. You look like you work at the public school. Do you know what I mean? It's true. If you don't agree with me, get the fuck out of here. Okay. Stupid ass. I don't have time for people who can't be real. Okay. That's another thing. So this was, this video was supposed to be about things that I like. Anyway, I was the one of the things was going to be the bag, but <sighs> all right. Then another thing, I don't know. I just like have this list of things in my head. Every time I look back at the camera, I just hate my hair. Like I look like the cowardly lion and I can't. All right, so um, the, I'm gonna talk about this. Is the next thing is like phony positivity. It, that's one thing that you guys really, really like. Like, I get it. Like, why is it sticking up like a fucking boner? Like, I have boners. I hate these fucking eyelashes. are like sticking up. Okay. Um, so what I was gonna say is this. I hate phony positivity so damn much. And you guys fucking love it. You love it so much. Like, I'm the only one in this world that doesn't get it. Like I, I fucking just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't want to hear it. It, it, it infuriates me. It's phony. It's not true. It's like, it's, it's placating. It's pandering. It's, um, what's the word? Like, um, when you don't really mean it, it's, pa it's, um, patronizing. It's very fucking patronizing. Okay. I hate those like, um, you know, positive, like, or like, oh, I don't even know what it is. Like people post on Instagram, like positive messages or like positive thoughts or like have a po like positive things. It's like, or like, don't worry. Today wasn't a good day. Tomorrow will like, I, to, I don't know. Not, I can't explain it. You don't have to do your best today. Not everyone does their best every day. Um, I don't know. Everyone is, I don't know what it is. Any kind of like that positive, like bullshit, I, I really don't like it. It's it to me. It's a phony positivity. I just don't like it to me. It's like a very weak person thing to like have to be fed positive shit all the time when like in reality, your life is not good. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not like you shouldn't be hearing this positive shit. You should be, uh, you should be like facing the negative, facing the reality of things and not put like a fucking smiley button on a pile of shit, which is probably your damn life. Like go fix it. Um, I don't know. That's just like a thought I'll call, probably get into it again. I'm going to like mix things up because I have more to talk about with that, but I also, also lost my thought train of thought. So I'm just going to wait. Um, they're still texting me. I'm going to if literally, I literally can't get me off of the fucking group text now. Why are you, why, do I look like someone who enjoys group texting? Do I look like someone who enjoys even one group, one text? Fucking idiots. Okay. Next thing I talk about, it was gonna, what I wrote down is like the dollar spot at Target. Dude, if there is like one more fucking person that like tells, says how much, like, oh, the dollar spot, it's always like some Insta, Insta post or something about what they found at the dollar spot. They're like decorate their house for like ether with a dollar spot shit. It's like so disgusting, right? So the truth is like, I am living the simple life right now. And like Judy and everyone laughs at the fuck out of me. Cause they're like, Alex, just because you bought a wood table doesn't mean that you're living the simple life. And we had this big discussion at work the other day. And it's so true. I was like, 
going in, I was like, talk, I was like, it's just like the simple life. I'm living the simple life, you know, being like horseback and like country-ish and stuff like that. And she's looking at me like I'm nuts because like Judy and I really get each other. It's funny. And she's like, Alex, just because you bought a wood table doesn't mean you're living the simple life. And I'm like, oh my God, she like actually woke me up. Cause I've been thinking this whole time for the past, like, I've been like, oh my God, like a simple life. I've been calling it simple life. And she like literally like was like, fuck off. <laughs> so um, anyway, I am living the simple life. She's, we already agreed that like, this is my idea of simple life, like country and birds and like wood furniture and um, like cowboy hats and barbecue and small bars and like being in love and it's very simple life okay so i'm happy in my little fantasy of living a simple life um and like also be able to go and go to thrift stores and estate sales and antique stores and vintage stores again like i am back like my vibe is back like i don't know i'm so excited so i want to show you guys some things that i got and i also wanted to talk with a dollar spot Okay, which I hate the dollar spot. All right, I'm gonna uh, stop texting me. Okay, I had to tell them to stop. So we're gonna get into the next thing. So I wanna show you guys what I bought at like um, my estate sale, um, estate sales and um, antique stores, flip, like thrift stores, things like that. Okay, so I'm just so happy to be able to do this again now that I have like my vibe back as far as, uh, you know, like house vibe stuff. Okay, so, but I wanted to tie it in with a dollar spot. Um, the next time you got, so the dollar spot is so fucking disgusting and trashy and tacky. And, um, anyone who goes there has, is just, is so pathetic. Okay. Stop buying from the fucking dollar spot. Stop buying cheap ass, like Chinese trash. Okay. I mean, it's not cute. It's gross. And by the way, Okay, so you believe in global, global warming is not the case, right? So you little fucking rat assholes who believe in global warming are shopping at the dollar spot? Is that what you're doing? Are you dumb? You are the most hypocritical little shit, uninformed fucking idiot ever, okay? If you are an environmentalist and you're shopping at the dollar spot, there's something wrong with you. You're a phony, you're a liar, okay? Um, talk about landfill. I'm, I'm actually doing more to save the environment, save the fucking planet than you are. You fucking assholes think that you can change the weather. You think that you as an individual, well, oh, oh, if we recycle, reduce and reuse, we can change the weather. Okay. That's what you think. Yet you still go shop at the dollar spot. You piss me the fuck off. It's one thing about landfills and shit like that. And like over usage like that. I can kind of understand just because people are so disgusting nowadays with like how, like the dollar spot shit and they just like buy shit and throw it away the next day. If you actually care about having a damn vibe and like reducing landfill, like disgustingness, which I get because all just goes, to, goes right in fucking trash. You should go to like, and learn from me, go to, and go and buy older things like old plates and things and create a vibe with them that no one else has. Everyone has a stupid little rabbit plate, okay? From fucking Dollar Tree. It's embarrassing and everyone knows it's from the Dollar Tree. Okay, or Dollar Store, Dollar Spot. What? Why would you think that's cute? Like, how would you go to the Dollar Spot and think that's cute? Like, that's so cute. It's stupid junk, okay? Anyway. So I'm going to teach you guys how to be less of a loser and to actually, if you are an environmentalist, to like put, put your money where your mouth is and not be dumb, hypocritical little bitch. Okay. So before you interrupt me because you're dumb and someone needs to wake you up because I know you guys do. I see the environmental, I see the little fucking they, them piece of shit. Okay. In the dollar, in the dollar spot buying shit. I see it. I don't want to knock it out of their hands because they're fucking not lying, hypocritical little bitch. Okay. So I bought these. Um, and they says it's so cute. They're like gold and you guys are pissing me off. You guys are like really pissing me off. Dollar spot pisses me off. Also, anyone who talks about the literally being able to change the weather pisses me off so much. Like you are that much of a fucking like big megalomaniac idiot that you think you have the, the power to change the weather. Are you okay? Like I, I really can't. First was the fucking turtle with a fucking straw in its damn nose. I, I can't like, I need you guys. I, no one is no one's real. Like, I just can't. That's another thing on my damn list. Okay. So it has L in the Gothic font, which you guys know I absolutely love. Um, this isn't for my last name. I thought it was so cute too. Like it was nice. Let me tell you guys a little story. I love you like little stories. Cause you guys know, like 
I never had like a good relationship until this one. I feel like this is a really good relationship. And in my past relationship, like, like I never even thought about changing my name. Like we, whatever, it wasn't even like that. So we're, so my husband and I were at the, um, I asked him to come with me. I w usually wouldn't because he doesn't like going into like this kind of shit, but like kind of just, cause I knew I was going to get some furniture. I wanted help. So, um, he came with me and he was in there and I saw these and I was almost embarrassed to like, because I'm like so PTSD from my last relationship with like just having a horrible relationship for so long. Um, I was like, Oh look, like, do you like those? And then I, I just like was embarrassed to even ask. Cause I didn't want to be like, no. And I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like shot down. <laughs> I was like kind of like nervous. He's like, Oh my God. He's like, those are really, those are awesome. We should get them. And then I was like, Oh, okay. Like, and he just like grabbed them and like went and got them. And then there's another thing too. We got like this big crystal, like a cigar dish. And I was like, oh, there's another, it's like a cigar. It was, a, I guess it was someone with like a, with an L last name, obviously. And there was like a big crystal cigar dish. I was like, oh, this would be cool. But well, you know, you don't, you don't really smoke cigars. And he's like, but that would be really cool. And he like grabbed it. I don't know. Like he, we have like a sense of like togetherness. It's nice. I can't explain it. Okay. And then we'll get into that too. Okay. The next thing I got was this and I love this. This is a plate that I saw at this one vintage store. Um, and they were doing, and I didn't get it because this was more than I would usually spend on like a vintage plate. It was like $40. I don't know what it's marked England Royal semi porcelain. Okay. And it is so banged up and used, but not cracked. Obviously you can just tell it has been used so much and there's so much like i can't i don't know who would obviously use this i don't know if it was using like a cafeteria or a hotel or a restaurant of some place or someone's china at their house for like decades in probably you know what i mean but it's just such a i don't know i just see it there's like you guys can look close there's like it's really a piece that i feel like is really cool to have like so much his like so much use on and history on and then I don't know also for me being able to enjoy it I really love it okay so that okay then I got this at the I got this and I'll tell you guys what it is it's obviously um Mary and I'm not Catholic I'm Greek Orthodox but I do love the images of like the sacred heart and all that I love it so it's all I don't care like I like I can appreciate all kinds of um different kinds of religion and things like that it's not that like Plus it's a Christian thing. To me, it's like Christian. I don't care. Um, anyway, you guys know that I'm not like, I don't like, I, I don't really know that much about a lot of, I, I'm not like that. I don't like read the Bible. Do you know what I mean? But like, I'm not an idiot. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Stop. So I saw this and I was like, how is this old? Like, this looks like a new image. I don't know. It was weird. So then I, I, I realized what they did because it is an old plate. Um, it's made in USA. So what I realized is an old plate and then someone, um, put this on later, like recently, like they trans put the image on. So I think this would be really gorgeous. Just like, I don't know. I love it. I just love it. Okay. And then I got this too. Look how pretty this is. This color. I love this, um, periwinkle color and I love the little side like holding area, whatever. And look how pretty this is stacked. Like, I just think this is so pretty, like stacked like this. I love the colors, the peach and the periwinkle together. It's just so gorgeous. Um, and yeah, so I said something, I got a lot of stuff. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a lot of the furniture I got and everything. Um, but I wanted to remind you guys about the dollar spot. Like, you know, there's, you have to do a mix. Like you can't do everything old or everything new. You have to be able to know how to mix stuff. And it just brings like class and it brings a vibe and it brings like not just a bunch of new disgusting crap at the same time you can't have everything old because then you start to look very crusty you know what i mean it's like people who wear vintage clothes i just can't get with the vintage clothes thing it's very crusty to me um but if you have like one piece of vintage in there it's cute like this you know what i mean like there are crusty bags i'm not sh this is this bag doesn't give crusty to me um but you you know what i mean okay so the next thing I want to talk about is, um, okay. I was gonna, I don't know how to say this without like, I, I'm just tired. I the thing is you guys really like my advice on like relationships and stuff, probably cause I've been put through the ringer a lot. I was, and like, I learned from my mistakes and whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. I want to talk about what I, so the, the topic of this, uh, this video was what I hate and you guys like. Okay. So a lot of the questions I was getting was, do you guys remember about how to find a rich man? or 
talking about hot men, okay? How everyone wants a hot, rich man, okay? That's what like, everyone wants. And that is never what I wanted, okay? That is never what I wanted. So I'll tell you, um, ever since like I can remember, I always wanted, yes, the first thing on my list was rich, always. I'm telling you guys, honest to God truth. Because I always wanted so much more in life, like my parents weren't poor, obviously we weren't poor growing up, but we were just like middle class. And I always, always, you guys know, wanted more in my life. Like I always wanted more, it was never enough. Like I wanted more than they could give me, okay? So that was like my main goal in life is like, is was money, okay? I really wanted money, but I wasn't smart in school. Like I fail, I didn't fail. I just did like very average. I don't like school. Like I don't have really a lot of friends. I hated homework. I hated extracurriculars. I didn't do well. I didn't like anything about it. So no one ever thought in my family that I would ever be successful, right? Like I was never the kind of person where like we were, I were, no one ever thought I'd probably amount to anything, I think. Um, it's just natural, right? Like if you have a kid who doesn't really like much about like all, all I like to do is eat and shop. That's all I like to do as a kid is eat and shop. Like all I like to do. Um, anyway, so I always thought, I swear, that I would find a rich man. But at the same time, I never wanted a hot man because I have this thing in my head where I want to be the hot one. I am have a lot of insecurities because I've been like fat, my fat and skinny up and down my whole life where I always see myself as being a lot bigger than I am. Um, I think all fat, all like people who are fat think that like they always, you'll always probably feel fatter than you are. I'm not the skinniest right now, but whatever you guys know, I'm not like crazy and how I think about, I'm not, I'm, I don't have like, I'm not totally body dysmorphic. Like I see myself as, as I am, I do. Um, I just, and I compare myself to me, which, I, which I'm happy I do, because you shouldn't compare yourself to anyone but yourself. Okay, um, anyway, so uh, what I was gonna say is, yeah, the, okay, so I always thought that I'd marry a rich man. I was engaged, and then whatever, you guys remember. Either way, I, I always made sure, not that, I, okay, I don't wanna get into like diss anyone, it's not it. Um, my, I don't wanna talk about me, actually, because I don't wanna like diss anyone. Okay, that's not it. I always thought I'd marry rich. I never married rich. Um, you know, I did this for myself, thank God, because I like know that's what I, I really do obviously love the finer things and things like that, but I did it for myself. And, and I want you guys to know that that's really important if you can. If you can't, then I swear to God, it's better to find someone who loves you, okay, and have a real relationship than anything else. I promise you, okay, after like all of my mistakes and after everything, it's not like the money and the hot man, you have to be attracted to them, okay? Think, like you have to be attracted to them. Like I could never have sex or whatever with someone I'm not attracted to, you know what I mean? Um, For whatever reason, you have to like them or like be attracted to them for some reason, right? Like it could be money, all right? But whatever it is, like, it's not, you guys, like marrying or wanting to find a hot and a rich guy. Do you know how many problems that brings? Do you like, do you not understand that like typically a hot and rich guy is going to require so much work? Like, do you not know that they can like basically do whatever they want? Like literally whatever they want. They are not going to like probably be like loyal or faithful or that loving or whatever because they know they don't have to. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to like make you guys think that like I never looked for that. I never looked for like the hot and rich man. I think that is... For personally, that is so much fucking work and effort. I looked for someone who I had a lot in common with and who I was like very attracted to. But thank God for me, like I was able to like make something of myself like money wise so I didn't have to look for that. But um, I don't know, take what you want from that either way. It's, I think, I promise you guys, it's way, way, way more important to find someone that you really, that really loves you. Like I'm telling you, it really is so amazing when someone actually loves you okay so okay the next thing i want to talk about i really hate this fucking eyelash is um music okay so i have a very very good taste and sense of music we know that i've gone viral about talking about my music sense over and over again and it's the truth i there's one thing about me is i have a very good music sense okay music taste There are very, very few people in life who have good music sense. Okay, I'm telling you. You guys are little groupie fucks who just will like someone and will and will think their music is amazing just because you like them. Where I am the same where I really like someone, but just because I really like someone doesn't mean I'm going to 
like um, say that their album was good, all right? And I really am annoyed by you guys with the Lana thing. Like as much as I love Lana, she's probably, I'm, you idiots, you little newbie fucks, okay? I haven't listened to Lana for probably, what, 15 years, okay? As old as you are, okay? We're, her and I are, I think, like, around the same age, so. Thing is this, like, not every fucking Lana song is good, and not every fucking Lana album is good, okay? So, you guys have been harassing the fuck out of me to talk about the Lana albums, and I'm not gonna do that because for people that I actually like, and obviously, she's, like, a very few people have talent out there, like, I swear to God, there's so much, like, no, like, not, I'm not saying they're not talented, but I feel like she's actually talented, and I do love her music, so I'm not going to diss anything. I love Lana Del Rey, and I love her look, I love her vibe, I love her music. She is my epitome of me sitting out, sitting down, and in my fucking own thoughts and silence, a misery, okay? She is rich girl misery. She is... A little, she is like us in America being depressed as fuck when we have no business being depressed as fuck because we are so lucky to like be li to be here and have all the opportunities we do, but we're depressed and we can sit alone in our misery kind of bullshit. She is that to me, and like she is such like I love everything about her. Okay, either way, um, no, not all of her songs are good. Okay, so stop trying to tell me that these songs are good because this new album, um, what? Okay, there was one or two songs that were like maybe possible. Okay, I think Paris, Texas is probably fine. Like whatever. That's why I named this this locket after the song because I did like the song and I feel like this when I thought when I saw that when I made this necklace, that's what I immediately thought. It just gave that vibe and I just love it. Um, so I like that song. The the rest of the album sucked. Like it. Did, I mean, it doesn't matter. Who am I to say? Like she's she's. I don't. I really not even like saying anything because I don't feel like. Who am I to be a critic of someone who is talented and I'm not talented in that way? Um, but we don't always have to say that all of her music is good. Not every single song is a hit. You little fucking rodent, okay? Like, you're annoying. Can you not have any critical? This is the problem nowadays. You're such a fucking sheep. They're like, oh, Lana Del Rey. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, no, not every one of my videos is amazing. Do you see what I mean? Like, not everything I say is perfect. Like, not every single Lana song is like, you know, orgasmic. Like, let's just fucking be like real. Do you know what I mean? I'm sick of you guys. Like, just not having any critical thinking skills. Like, not every song is good. Do you know what I mean? Grow up, okay? So, the whole thing with... Dude, I'm, I've am i put this on, so it's twisted. I don't... I need to, like... It's irritating me. Like, I can feel it twisted. I'm an idiot. I just put on twisted. Now it's fucked up. See how it keeps on, like... But I don't want to undo it. I'm on... Fu I'm, so, I'm not going to stop. Stupid. But I, I keep on noticing how it's twisting. How it... The, 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 the fucking chain is twisted! Okay, stop. I'm literally stuttering. Okay. So, um, I know you guys are asking me about that. And every time a new Lana album comes out, you guys ask me to say, like, I don't want, I'm not going to ever, I'm not going to diss her. I'm not going to say what I think. Um, but no, like not every single song is good. And it's like, that's, that's a normal thing for like an album. Like not every song is good. I mean, on some, a lot of her albums, a lot of the songs are very good, but I don't feel like they've been good for a while. I think there's some songs that are amazing songs, not albums. Okay. Stupid. Um, yeah, so that, um, just stop being so phony, dude. Like, you have some fucking balls. That was another thing on my list. Like, I have balls and you guys don't. Like, well, you can't even be critical. You can't even, like, say what, like, some critical thought on a fucking song now. Now you have to go into your peers and say that you love the entire Lana Del Rey album. Oh, my God, it's so amazing. Like, you can't have, and it's like, no, not everything is good. Like, yeah, it's like, there's some songs that I like, period. Like, I don't, it's, like, weird. Everyone's just so pathetic. Like, just shut up. Like, have some fucking balls and everything. Like, look what's going on right now in the world. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, banana fucking republic, you know? I don't even talk about that. It's annoying. Okay, so I do have something to, to admit is that I all told you guys that I hate Trader Joe's. Yes, I told you I hate Trader Joe's. Okay, I am obsessed with Trader Joe's now. Yes, I am. I love Trader Joe's. Okay, so this is the thing. I fucking hate Newport so much. I just hate it. Like, Newport destroyed my life. I hate it. Like the vibe is so disgusting. I cannot even believe I, I'm just so happy that I got out of there so quick because I just, I can't even tell you how much like insanely happier I am for me. You guys know I'm a very, um, I'm very happy in my own misery. I've quote, I've, I've, I think I've like coined that term. You guys know that I always say that, that I'm very happy in my misery. I love, love to be miserable 
but I'm not miserable, but I am. I can't explain it. Like, that's just how I am. And I don't need you guys to be like, oh my God, you should be a miserable person. No, I'm not a miserable person. I'm very happy in my misery. You don't understand. Like, I'm not, I'm not going out in, a, like, in the world and being in a bad mood. I like to sit in my own thoughts. Like, that was another one. I love to be alone, unlike you guys. You guys, you guys don't like to be alone. I love to be alone. I would much prefer to be alone. Like, if someone's like, oh, let's go get lunch, why? I don't really understand that. Like, why are we getting, like, lunch what? Like, shopping who? Why are we going shopping together so I can, like, follow your ass around in a fucking section that I don't want to be in? Why are we having lunch? I don't like to do small talk. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I just don't get it. Like, I so badly want right now to just sit here and be silent. Um... I, what I want to do right now, I would love to do is like, yeah, I want to just like turn everything off and I want to turn on, um, Bossa Nova, like a certain song, a certain one. And I just want to sit, like, I don't want anyone to talk to me. I just want to sit down for a second. Like, and I just want to like be miserable right now, just for a second in my own thoughts. You know, that's what, that's ideal for me. You know what I mean? I want to get a good coffee and do that. Um, that's ideal what I want to do. Okay, anyway, so that my back to the Trader Joe's. So yeah, the Newport thing ruined my life. Um, Newport was just like, I can't explain. Okay, so I don't know why. Because I never went to like Trader Joe's in Newport. Okay. Um, I had like the best Trader Joe's near my house. This is insane now. Like, I love Trader Joe's. The reason I didn't like Trader Joe's before is because I don't like their snacks. Like, I don't like places that have that try to act like they're like healthy or health foody when actually it's all garbage right so like trader joe's everyone loves to like buy that pre-made like orange chicken bags and like shit like that and there's all those like hacks on like tiktok about it i won't touch any of that shit that is all so fattening it's not that like but they do have good things like um i love my tennis bracelet it's so gorgeous look at that it's sterling silver and um uh, simulated diamonds it's my dream tennis bracelet I love it okay and I love how it just like goes over my Cartier's okay anyway so um they have just like the best produce and the best fruit and like they have really good flowers to choose from because now I can like do flowers in this house I've been doing like so many flowers and I bought like all these plants and um there's like this coconut water thing I'm obsessed with I'll show you guys another time um and they have like good meats i don't know and they have like uh hearts of palm for a dollar 99 like i was paying eight dollars for that literally i hate newport so much it's just stupid i mean i could have gone to trader joe's newport's on the point the point is like i was just like doing the newport life and just not being happy okay so anyway i love trader joe's now but my advice is that do not i love when my hair does this okay um my advice is um, do not do the snacks there. I don't buy like any any chips. I don't buy any of their cookies. I do buy like the biscotti. They're not that bad in calories, that's why. I do buy like the fish sticks because the fish sticks are pretty good in calories. Um, and I buy all their produce and meats and like, um, I don't like some cheese, yeah. And like their salmon, their smoked salmon. I mean, I really like it, you guys. Okay, but I just don't do any of the snacks because the snacks are just totally off limits. Like they're so fattening and like I'm, I don't even eat any of that shit and I'm still fat. Like I'm just, my body is just, is what it is. Like, it's like, you know, I got to really, really, really hunker down to lose any weight. It just sucks, but it is what it is. So I'm not really like, on that vibe right now. I need to get back on that vibe. Okay. I had like a whole list of things. I have other things to talk about, but I feel like I hit the main ones. Um, I talked about the dollar spot. That was like a really important one. And like, you know, I was gonna talk about clothes too. And like coffee, because it's just, you guys, clothes are so out. Like I just, it's done. There's no, you guys, the only clothes we're wearing right now is very simple things. Like, I mean, I, I always, I always like that. I'm always pretty much like that. Like Skims vibe. That's the, that's the only thing that's okay. It's like cute, like kind of like athleisure. They call it, I guess I hate that term. Like maybe with a cool jacket over and like, you know, that's it. Like we're not wearing clothes. Like I hate outfits. Like Dude, people like dress so bad. I can't stand. I hate clothes. Like I hate clothes so much. Like I always think, okay, why don't you go like go find some clothes, go like, clothes shopping or something. And like, but why? There's nothing. Like, what am I gonna do? Buy skirts and shit. Like what? Like 
No, like simple straight jeans and like cute sweatshirts and sweaters and things like that. Like, and yoga pants and like, you know, that like that, like Skims vibe, but that's cute. But like, there's nothing else. Like stop. Do you know what I mean? Like clothes are done. Like there's just, everything is done right now. I'm telling you, like, this is the truth. Okay. So anyway, I don't know how this, um, I had more things to say, but I'm just going to save it. Okay, guys, this is it. Um, this is a very weird video, but I told you I'm in a very weird mindset right now. It is what it is. I hate my hair. I don't like the way I look today, and the background's yellow. Um, so, yeah, okay. Bye, guys.